There is no sector in our daily life where organic compounds are not used. The importance of organic compounds in our day-to-day -day life is beyond description and knows no bounds. Organic chemistry is everywhere. We know that there are five basic needs of humans. They are food, clothes, education, treatment, and shelter. And we fulfill all of these basic needs, mainly with the help of organic compounds. Hello chemistry lovers. This is Chemiverse. Here today, we are trying to discuss how organic compounds contribute to our everyday life. Food is what we gain energy from. Every day, we need a lot of energy for performing all the physical activities out here and there, and also for all our mental work. The foods we live on mostly are rice, wheat, potatoes, etc. which are nothing but polyglucose or starch or sugar. These carbohydrates produce energy inside the body. Fish, meat, egg, milk, pulse, etc. are good sources of protein, which is formed of amino acids or polyamides. Oils, fats, ghee, or butter are in our everyday diet chart. They contain ester lipid. Organic compounds play a vital role in the production of various foods. To increase the production of the crops, we use chemicals like herbicides, insecticides, pesticides, etc. which are mainly organic compounds. Organic compounds like vinegar, sodium benzoate, etc. are used as food preservatives that prevent the decomposition of foods by microorganisms. It should not also be out of place to mention that the food colors or sweetening agents are mostly organic compounds. Again, we use coal, natural gas, wood, etc. for cooking food. From wearing large green leaves, earned from forest trees, to wearing all the modern clothes with a lot of versatile designs, human civilization has become smart enough. And it is the organic chemistry that has carried us all the way. All the natural fibers, such as cotton, silk, wool, etc. are nothing but cellulosic materials. Also, synthetic fibers like polyester, nylon, etc. are organic compound polymers. Almost all the materials we use for building a house are organic compounds. Woods we use for making different furniture are composed of cellulose, which is a polymer of glucose. Plastics, paints, varnishes, bamboos, curtains, which modern houses are incomplete without, are the contributions of organic compounds. We dare not count how many life-saving drugs and medicines have been gifted to human civilization by organic chemistry. Thanks to revolutionary drug discoveries, diseases that once seemed impossible to be prevented or cured can now be faced off quite easily. Antibiotics, anti-cancer drugs, anti-ulcerants, cardiac drugs, sulfa drugs, antidepressants, vitamins, hormones all are organic molecules. In one of our previous videos, we discussed the top 10 drug discoveries of all time. Please watch that video if you haven't watched it yet. Paper is a cellulosic material, and it is the material where all the knowledge gets a written form and histories get recorded. Pencils and pens are made of plastic materials, which are organic compound polymers. If fibers weren't there, school uniforms would not be there. If woods weren't there, benches would not be there in the classrooms. Except for these, there are a lot of organic compounds that we cannot go a single day without. In cosmetics, glycerin, olive oil, perfumes, menthol, petroleum gel, castor oil, wax and lipstick, shampoo, etc. are widely used. Soap and detergents are also organic compounds. We use a lot of polymers in our daily life. For example, we use polyethylene, PVC, melamine, Teflon, etc. almost every hour in our everyday life. It is actually some kind of audacity to try and show the importance of organic compounds in a few minutes. This discussion is nothing but a general introduction to the importance of organic compounds. Let us finish here. We will be back with many more interesting videos. Stay curious. Thank you.